So, as many people know by now, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, who was in prison for murder, just got engaged. And I stumbled across an article in which a psychologist weighed in on the situation, and I thought it would be an interesting topic to discuss. So let's do this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from the news or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And one of the things that I'm passionate about is mental health, mental illness, mental health awareness and all that, although I am not a licensed therapist or anything like that, it's something that I have experience with and I'm very passionate about. So I like to pull in these topics and I wanna ask you guys some questions as well. Because in the case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, it's interesting because I made my first video about her the other day. And a lot of people have a lot of opinions on this situation. I plan on doing some more videos to kind of discuss some topics. But Gypsy Rose Blanchard, she was traumatized. Um, her mother, uh, made her seem as though she was ill and forced her to be in a wheelchair and so many other things. This is a crazy, crazy story. I won't give all the details in this video because it is absolutely nuts. Uh, if you want to, there's a documentary about it. Um, there's the show, The Act on Hulu, which I've been watching and it goes over some of the details in there. But anyways, Jesse Rose Blanchard was the victim of Munchausen by proxy, all right? So what that is, is when a caregiver Typically, the caregiver will um, do this to someone who's very young or very old, and it's making the person believe they have a bunch of illnesses, or they'll, you know, uh, uh, like make them take medications and everything. Like Gypsy Rose Blanchard lost a bunch of teeth because of the medications she was taking, and like I mentioned, like she was forced to be in a wheelchair, and it was just absolute madness. So anyways, what ended up happening was Gypsy Rose Blanchard ended up meeting a guy online and she, you know, convinced the guy to murder her mother. And by the way, by the way, can we just time out real quick? In my last video, in my last video, I discussed how Gypsy Rose Blanchard murdered her mother. And there's so many people who are like, she didn't murder her mother, her, the boyfriend did. Okay, you guys, okay, all right, all right, let's, let's chat real quick. Gypsy Rose Blanchard is in prison for second degree murder, okay? Gypsy Rose Blanchard got the knife in which her boyfriend killed her mother with and she was involved in it and that is why she got convicted. I don't know, I just wanted to talk about that because just something that's really fascinating about just like people is like these very small little like things that people like kind of get outraged about. It's like, just, just, just chill, just chill, all right? But anyways, like I said, there was a psychologist who weighed in on Gypsy Rose Blanchard getting engaged. And this is an article from Inside Edition, which I will link down below. But anyway, she talks about some of the struggles that um, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is going to deal with, um, just personally, as well as in a relationship, all right? Because she is in prison for the next 10 years. And that's something else I'm gonna talk about in another video, is a lot of people don't even think that she should be in prison. and. Real quick, in my opinion on that, and I would love to hear from you down in the comments, like, I, I think that she should have gone to, you know, a, a psychiatric hospital. Like, do you guys remember the the Slender Man uh, killings? Or no, it wasn't even killings. It was, they, they tried to kill a young woman. But anyways, um, they got sentenced to like a psych ward. They were, and they were younger, right? And that's something that, you know, I, I wish we could talk about more and really look at as a, a, a culture because so many people who are getting locked up in prison, like they're struggling with something. So many people have some kind of traumatic past. You know what I'm saying? And like, even though Gypsy is living a better life in prison, like, is she getting the psychiatric care that she needs? Is this the right place for her? Like, she's living an amazing life, according to her, because it's much better than the way she was living with her mom, Dee Dee. But, like, a psych facility, in my opinion, might be a better option. But anyways, in this article, the psychologist talks about... One of the things she talks about is, like, kind of like the honeymoon phase that a lot of us can relate to, right? Like, 
she she talks about how these two getting together there's a lot of media attention there's a lot of you know tra la la everything's all good and all great and everything like that but the real test to any relationship again in my opinion and what's mentioned in this article is during the difficult times like it's easy it's easy to think that everything's going to be all happy uh happily ever after and be this fairy tale when you know everything's great like it's easy that is easy, and and I want to I want to know like how many of you can relate to that when you get into a relationship and there's that honeymoon phase, but like as soon as like some some difficult times hit, like it just crumbled, it just crumbled, and like in my opinion, when people get in relationships, like it's not how good things are when things are good, it's how you two work through things when things are difficult. So the other thing that this psychologist brings up in this article is that. Gypsy is the victim of trauma. And like, this is an extensive trauma, okay? So again, I'm not a licensed professional, but there is something called CPTSD, uh, Complex Post-Traumatic uh, Stress Disorder, where it is repeated trauma over and over and over and over and over again, right? And that's something that usually happens to a lot of kids who go through traumatic experiences. And Gypsy was constantly in this cycle and being abused by her mother for years and years and years and years. So Gypsy needs time to recover from that. But what uh, they talk about in this article is that, you know, there's going to be um, a lot of communication that needs to be happening. And, you know, the, the, the future husband, he's going to have to be very patient with her and everything like that. And any of you who have been the victim of trauma, you might be able to relate to this. Like, it affects your relationships and it doesn't even have to be, you know, um, uh, 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 sexual abuse, right? It could be physical abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse. Like, for example, myself, like my, my version of traumatic childhood was just growing up with an alcoholic mom. So, you know, it was a lot of, you know, verbal, you know, and emotional things that I dealt with, um, uh, fear of abandonment and everything like that. And for many, many, many years, I struggled in relationships because all of those things that I had not worked through yet were still there. So I had a lot of um, fear of abandonment issues. I was always afraid that, you know, a, a woman I was dating was going to leave me. Um, I also had codependency issues and all these other things. And that didn't really get better until I started working on myself. So, so Gypsy, you know, one would argue that while she's in prison, she's working on these things. But do you think... Do you think that somebody who hasn't fully worked through their trauma yet should get into such a serious relationship? Because here's, here's the question that I have, all right? And I would love to hear your thoughts on it is, is it fair to the other person? Is it fair to, and, and not even just in the gypsy case, but like if, if you're somebody who hasn't worked through your trauma or issues yet, is it fair to bring somebody else into that relationship knowing that that other person is going to have to deal with a lot? Is that fair for the other person? Okay, because I know some people might say like, um, you know, well, you know, it's their choice, it's their decision, or they want to be with me, or they want to help me, you know, and all these other things. But again, like I mentioned just a few minutes ago, codependency is a very real thing. Right. So do we allow somebody to be in that relationship? Like I'll share with you my personal experience. When I woke up to the fact that I was no good in relationships, that I would, you know, put another person through hell if they were in a relationship with me, I stayed single for a year and a half. All right. And then I got into a relationship for maybe a little over six months. And then after that relationship ended, I stayed single for a very, very long time because I realized that there was even more stuff that I had to work on. So just me personally, me personally, I decided to not be in a relationship until I was at a place where the other person could get everything that they deserved from me because I was constantly getting in relationships where the other person was not getting the, the best version of myself and I was putting them through hell. So I have personal experience with this, but I wanna hear your thoughts on this because this is kind of like, uh, a touchy subject like whenever I bring it up on my channel but like for me for me in my head like I was like it is extremely selfish to bring somebody into this where you know 
I have abandonment issues, so I'm very needy, I'm very clingy, and all these other things, right? Or I freak out and I have issues with my emotional regulation, all these other things, and I kind of woke up to the fact like, oh man, it is not right for me to bring somebody else into this, right? So when I look at the situation with Gypsy Rose Blanchard getting engaged, I'm like, okay, is that fair to the other person? person involved right so i would love to hear all of your thoughts on it and if there are any topics that you would like me to cover like i know some of you mentioned that you want me to um kind of dive into the topic of munchausen by proxy and everything and i do want to discuss you know what led to you know gypsy rose blanchard and her boyfriend killing the mother and being in that kind of household and situation because I've found some really fascinating articles about this. So any topics that you want me to discuss, let me know down in the comments below and I would love to know your thoughts as well. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos and a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get involved in our monthly Q&A, get involved with some other cool stuff, click or tap right there. All right. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.